Dr. BC, did you know that SML has a print function? I used it to annotate my input file. See? When I run it like this with my input file, it tells me what is going on. This really helps me with debugging. Why didn't you tell me about it before? I have been using SML to teach functional programming, and print statements aren't in the purely functional part of SML. But since you are using them, have you tried to put print statements in the function itself? I tried adding a print statement to the function, but it is not working the way I expected. First, I removed the print statements from my input file. Then, I added a print statement to the end of the function. It seems to be printing when the file is loaded, rather than when I call the function. You need to make the two statements into a single, compound statement by putting brackets around them, otherwise SML thinks the function ended at the line A times B. Let's see what happens when I run it now. That made things worse. Now I am not getting the correct output for the function. That is because in SML, the last command you run is the one that is returned from the function. Just change the order so that the multiply comes last. That looks better. Now how do I print out the values for A and B? Start with A. Use the caret operator to concatenate the string multiplying with the string for A. But you cannot print out a directly. You have to convert it to a string first using the int to string function. Whoa! Where did that error come from? You need to add brackets around the part you want to print. Try it again. That looks better. Great! Can you finish off the function? Let me see. Well done. Thanks for watching.